All right, we're at the LSU Food Pantry here with Thatcher Hurd. He's a new LSU baseball pitcher who transferred in from UCLA. Thatcher, good to be talking to you today. Yeah, good to see you. How are yeah, you? yeah, and uh, I tell you what, before you've even thrown your first pitch for the Tigers, you're making a tremendous impact here. Tell me about uh, what's going on today. Yeah, today we're at the LSU Food Pantry, and uh, we're going to be distributing some meals, uh, and it's really exciting. I was able to... Uh, pay for 30,000 uh, pounds of food, which is amazing, and uh, I feel really grateful to be in this position and ultimately to give back, so I'm really excited. So to do that, you donated 100% of your NIL money to do this? Yes, sir, yeah. What kind of statement do you feel like you're you're making with that? I mean, I uh, just, for me, I feel a, a ton of gratitude that I get to play at LSU with such overwhelming support from the community and for me, I just I want to give back to the community, and that's something I've always wanted to do. And uh, I feel this is a great way to do it. As you know, I, I'm lucky enough; I've never had to worry about where my next meal is coming in from. And so, to be able to like give a helping hand to those that are in a tough time or they don't know where their next meal is coming from, that means a lot to me. So I'm really excited about this. Well, this is tremendous in a time where NIL is such a controversial subject. Is it good? Is it bad? Well, this is 100% good. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a basic human need. People need food. They have to eat. We just came through the holiday season where a lot of people are down on their luck. And uh, and throughout the year, what uh, what they do here in Baton Rouge with this and, uh, you know, the Baton Rouge Food Bank is, uh, is something that will always be needed. Absolutely, yeah. So there's great work going on here, and I'm really happy to be a part of it today. And, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm really proud of what, what's happening here. I saw you pitch the other day. You pitched in the scrimmage on Saturday. Pretty impressive stuff. Thank you. Uh, talk about, you know, coming to LSU, playing for Jay Johnson, and, and why did you make that decision? Yeah, I, I mean, I've loved every second of it so far. Um, I really, for me, I really wanted to come experience the SEC, and that's what I wanted out of my college baseball experience. And uh, coming to LSU with so much tradition and getting to play for Coach Johnson, who uh, he's one of the best coaches in the country, and uh, learning every day, getting better every day. Uh, it's been everything I've expected to be and, and some more for sure. And, and last year you had a thing with your back, right, that, that cost you to, you had to, um, your season ended early, but you looked pretty healthy to me. You feel, you feeling 100%? Yeah, sir. I made a, made a full recovery and I'm feeling good, ready to go. Coach said that 100% you'll be a starter. Uh, you got this guy, Paul Skeens, uh, who figures to be Friday and perhaps you'll be Saturday. I don't know, but how is this rotation all together, you think, coming together? We got a we're really deep in our staff, and we all, uh, you know, we're selfless. We don't we don't care where we are. We're just going to make sure we do what the team needs us to do, and we're going to go out and, and we look to dominate every time we get the ball. And uh, it's a great group, and couldn't be more happier for all of them. An LSU fan told me too. He said, "This is a big team. That's some big dudes. I mean, you're six four, two hundred. You go down the roster. It seems like there's a lot of uh, like, almost like a football team." Yeah. Uh, is that strength and conditioning? Is it just you think what what he's recruited or? Yeah, or I think what? it's a little of both for sure. I think he's you know the SEC is physical players, a lot of physicality, and then we work really hard in the weight room too. And that was a big part of me recovering from my injury as well, and for improve, getting better at baseball. A big part is the weight room, so we do a good job in there. A couple more things with you. Um, I traveled out to UCLA years ago. LSU played a regional there. Yeah, that's right. Trevor Bauer, I think, was pitching for yeah. UCLA. And uh, they were passionate about baseball, but you could tell there was a big difference. I mean, yeah. are you ready for Alec Box? And, and I mean, it is kind of like the New York Yankees of college baseball in terms of media attention and fans and all that. Yeah, absolutely. I saw that the first pitch banquet uh, when there were thousands of people there and <laughs> all fired up about Tiger baseball. So uh, I think I speak for the whole team. We couldn't be more excited. You know, we're taking it a day at a time, trying to be as prepared as we can be, but we can't wait for, to get this going. So you were a California kid all your life until now? Yeah, pretty much. You know, I li I've lived in Arizona a little bit, moved around a little bit for my dad's work, but California's home for me. All right, last thing, your preseason number one across the board. Yes, sir. Coach Johnson repeatedly has said, we're going to be like firefighters. We're going to run towards the fire. We're not going to run away from it. Is that kind of the attitude you guys are taking? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, we have the number one ranking and, you know, we're not going to lie and say, oh, we don't, you know, we, we ignore that. We don't care about that. You know, we're going to fully embrace that and we're going to take that on. And uh, we're going to look to win every day and, and um, be present with it and keep going. 
That's your herd. Thanks for being a leader and doing yes, this. Absolutely. I'm sure the LSU baseball fans and the whole community uh, appreciates it and is impressed and look forward to seeing this guy at Ellicott Box Stadium and throughout the SEC venues and wherever the Tigers go this season.